Hello guys, welcome to AY's tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to design a birthday flyer in CorelDRAW. So let's begin. So step 1. The first thing to do is to change your page height and width to these values. Then double click on your rectangle tool to add a page frame. Just like this, then right click here to tick off the outline. So after I've done that, click on your interactive view tool. Then click copy free properties and click on this color to give a, a bit, the page frame a background color. So after that, the next step is to backlip this your picture into this background. By moving this your picture with your right click, then release it, then choose backlip inside. So after that, hold down control and click on it to edit contents. Now increase this picture. So increase it. So after that, click on your interactive transparency tool and click uniform here also give it multiply then increase the transparency level to 69 then click finish editing object so as you can see how it looks like so step two the, the step two is to move this picture here that is to pack clip this picture into the background by moving it to your right click and choose pack clip inside and edit content then increase the picture and bring it down here increase it very big just like this so after i've done that click finish editing objects as you can see it is okay like this so the next step that's step three is to click on your text tool then type happy birthday then change the font to freestyle script so after that, increase it a little bit, then bring it here, then give it white color. So then right click here to tick off the outline. So the next step is to click on your text tool again, then type Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo. So after that, press Ctrl key on your keyboard to call, to break text apart, then give this Cristiano in part font like this then bring it here also give it white color and this Ronaldo give it good more jiggler so after I click on it increase it a little bit then bring it here so reduce it so after I've done that press ctrl Q to convert it to curve then press G and press copy properties then copy this gradient color so zoom it a little bit as you can see now increase it like this now i light the three text and press letter l to arrange everything to the left just like this now move this up a little bit so now the next step is to click on your text tool then type 36 then give the font impact now increase it a little bit so after i've increased it press letter g and click copy view properties to copy this gradient color just like this now press ctrl q to convert it to curve now give the outline four points just like this then press ctrl shift q to convert the outline to curves to object rather so after that, press G on your keyboard, then click Copy Fill Properties, then click on this gradient color. So as you can see, that's copy the gradient color. Now press Ctrl G to group it. Now bring it here. Now reduce it. Just like this. Now align everything. Now press it at L to arrange everything to the left. So the next step is to draw your rectangle tool, just like this. Then click on your text tool and type February. That is in abbreviation, small letter also. February 5th, comma 2021. Now give the font freestyle, freestyle script. Now give it white color. Now increase it a little bit. Now bring this square here and the text also here. Now give this rectangle. This color by giving by clicking on your, G, your keyboard 
and click copy free properties and then copy this color but give it uniform uniform view so after that and i'll reduce this a little bit and bring this text here now right click here to take off the outline now i light both of it and press the C and E to arrange both vertically and horizontally. Sorry, C and E to arrange it vertically and horizontally. Now I press Ctrl G to group it. So after that, increase it a little bit. Increase this for a little bit. Now bring it down. I like this also. Press Ctrl G to group it. Now increase it a little bit. After that, take it up a little bit. Then alight it and press Ctrl G to group it. So now increase it to make it visible. And now reduce this side. Now alight everything and press the letter L to arrange everything to the center. I mean to the left. Use this a little bit. So the next step is to click on your text tool and type CR7 all in capital letter. Now give the font. Sorry. Now give the font impact. Impact here. Yeah. So now increase it bring it here then click or right click here to give it a white outline then click on this here to remove the fill color now press ctrl q to convert it to curve now increase the outline to two points or four points just like this then you can re you reduce the outline to three so it will be okay so the next step is to bring this ball reduce it and bring it here like this now you need to bring this ball upward by right clicking and go to order and choose front of layer then reduce the ball a little bit and bring it to the center of this arm just like this so you press shift f to zoom everything to page so after you have done that I like this and drag it down like this Then it needs some arrangement. Align the boots and press Ctrl G to group it. Like this. Increase this also. Bring this down here. This also. Increase it. And bring it here. Now edit content to adjust this picture. Click on it and move it to this side. A little bit. Now press Shift. Finish editing object. So now adjust this picture. I mean this text rather. Now I like everything and press that L to arrange everything to the left. So you can now adjust this picture back. So after that, click finish editing objects. As you can see. As you can see, the picture is done and everything about the design is done. So the next step. If you want to change this picture or you want to customize it for any other people, you can just edit content. You can just edit content and back click this picture here. Now edit content. You can now move this picture away and increase this. The picture you want to you want to put inside. So you can now increase this. To bring this down a little bit now click finish editing objects so as you can see as you can see i've changed the picture so if you want to customize this very design for anyone you can change the pictures in it like this and the the here that's the here the person is must be here and the name of the person and the date of birth so if you have any abbreviations you can put it here so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.